This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of Medium 2014, an interview with uh, Martin Davis and Sid Lawrence, uh, fresh from the Music Hack Day. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. So hi, uh, Martin and Sid, uh, great to be here and uh, we do our usual catch up post Hack Day. So uh, how did it all go this year? Uh, it went really well. It's, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's the same format every year, which is, you know, a smaller uh, format to the kind of more traditional music hack days. You know, there's only really at most about 30 developers in the room. And, you know, it's a nice intimate vibe that works well in terms of, you know, people getting to know each other, you know, bouncing ideas back and forth. There's a lot more ability to help other developers in the room as well. And the stuff that came out of it, you know, was, you know, as creative as you would expect it to be, as different, you know, there was some, there were some laughs, nearly some tears. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good event and, and, you know, the demo session was fraught as it always is, but you know, it went as well as you can do with that many on stage in that short time. And I, I got to see a little bit more uh, of what was going on because I kept coming, coming in and out of the room and uh, so there was some swearing involved, there was some uh, frustration. <laughs> no? Isn't there, always, isn't there always swearing involved? Yeah. I mean, um, well, I tried something new this year. Um, normally I go with something bizarre, funny, wacky, mental, weird creative um this year i decided to go with something like normal yeah um something maybe possibly useful um uh something that uh, over the weekend i've created a system where you can even sign up and start paying uh which i don't think i've ever done that before and it's kind of my anti-hack day um so we'll just see what happens. I had quite a lot of fun making it, to be fair. Yeah, and it's, it's uh, like, like we said last year, it's, it's a different audience from the normal Hack Day, so you really have to create something that the people that are in the room that are part of the industry can get, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you don't have to, but, oh. you know, in, in order for that very different audience to kind of, you know, really dig it and understand, you know, the kind of stuff that people are building, it would help. But, you know, at the same time, you know, the, the session's always rammed. Like, I think it really is like one of the most anticipated sessions that happens on the Monday, and that's awesome to see. You know, there's probably three times as many people there today to see what got built than were there when we introduced it on Saturday morning, you know, and that's fantastic. I think, you know, you can sit through as many panels talking about the different aspects of the industry as you like, but actually you've got, you know, 18 people getting on stage and showing you something that you've never seen before that's different. And, you know, even if you don't necessarily get what it is, you can see it and, in, you know, see them interacting with that. And it's, you know, it's an engaging session and it's a fun session. So I think, you know, whether, whether they uh, take that much away from it after the fact, at least they've been entertained for that hour and maybe more so than they have been for the rest of the time they're here, so. And sit so in four years of, of the hack day happening here at Medium. Do you feel like uh, the uh, uh, attitude towards hackers and people get what you do and they understand sort of uh, at least roughly the process of working with somebody like yourself? Uh, I mean, so it's my only third, only my third Medium. I wasn't here for the first one. And last year I wasn't actually on the hack day. Um, but do people get it? I don't know. I imagine that the first one, people were probably very anti-hackers thinking that hackers are these people that are pirating all their tools, all their music, and making it so that it's easy for people to download, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't get that now. I think it is Music Hack Day itself is very much a, an established brand. Um, and uh, and it, it's, yeah. So I, from what I can imagine, yeah. Um, I mean, no one really, I don't think there was anyone there who was like, stood in the corner as soon as I heard Music Hack Day or hackers were like, oh my God, they're stealing all of our money. Um, which uh, we've actually you know, I experienced at MIP TV last year yeah. for the first time where I've had someone going, I hate hackers, they're the worst. Um, so it's kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yes. Awesome. And uh, uh, let's, let's do like a showdown. Um, Spotify API and versus Deezer API. What was the ratio here? <laughs> Um, two to one. Two to one. Yeah. But not everyone used those APIs either. So, okay, of of the hacks that did, I think it was probably yeah twice as much Spotify as it was Deezer. But then one of those, I mean, was it only two on Spotify and one on Deezer? I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, and so yeah. Example, yeah. And also, I mean, one of the Spotify was by Spotify devs. Yeah. Yeah. So fair enough. Yeah. It was one and one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And actually, uh, you know. The, the overall winning hack from the event, which was decided on by us, the people who were at the event, um, use Spotify. It's a very cool uh, application. It allows you to, uh, to DJ with streaming tracks 
off Spotify. Wow. Uh, so you have two versions of Spotify open and you can actually play just, you know, you can DJ with them with an interface to actually do that. So that's very cool. That's fantastic. And uh, of course, you can check out all the hacks if you go on uh, hackerleague.com and you search for the uh, can and medium hack day as, uh, as uh, keywords. So you're going to be able to find all the hacks. And I'm also going to link uh, them out into the show notes. So you can go and check them out. I'm sure I'm going to write a bit of a write up of what's going to, uh, what went down with some of the best hacks. And uh, yeah, you yeah. can also find the, the, the link to all the hacks on musichackday.org. Uh, go to musichackday.org and click on can. Yeah, and, and the winners uh, is going to be announced also as part of the like together with the Midam Lab uh, competition this year, which is quite cool because it, it gives like the hack day even more profile. Yeah, we've actually done that before. We have uh, you know decided on like an overall winner. Uh, you know, just between ourselves and, and done a main stage presentation of it yeah. uh, two years ago. We did that for the first time. Last yeah. year it didn't happen, uh, but they brought it back this year, which is, you know, it's it's a nice thing to do. I think just for the just for you, the guy that that's built that, it's just a nice thing to have. You, know, you walk away with a certificate and Spotify bought him a bottle of champagne. You know, it's it's, it's nice. I mean, no, no one's coming here to build, you know, the best hack. Yeah, and sure. no one's coming here to try to win anything. You know, it's, yourself, you know, Sid's only trying to win customers this time. <laughs> Um, but you guys are all pro by now. Like, uh, you know, there, there were quite a few people last night that had actually completed their hack, which yeah. is, uh, you know, first, really. <laughs> I had mine completed about half six-ish. Yeah, you did pretty well. Yeah. Um, but then I only did one. My last medium hack day, I mean, yeah, my last medium hack day, I did... I want to say five, but I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> I can confirm that it was five hacks. <laughs> and you, But you also stayed there fully overnight. Oh, I was and uh, hacked all the way through. Yeah, God, I didn't so. sleep for 60 hours. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, this one I took at casual pace. Right. But I've integrated, like, payments. Like, you can you can literally go to uh, Fat Stats with a P-H, P-H-A-T-S-T-A-T-S dot we make awesome sh- dot IT. And you can go there and you can log in and then you can actually pay me money as well. So yeah. Do you maybe um, want to do the discount? for? Oh, yeah, uh, for and there's a discount. Um, so if you use, so you get a seven-day free trial um, just when you sign up but yeah. uh, if you use the coupon code MEDEM then you get 50% off for the first six months so it's like an absolute bargain uh, and you can go there and you can see all the different stats about your YouTube videos and you can see all the charts for where they're all shared online uh, I mean it's amazing yeah. uh, and what's that, what's that <coughs> URL again? Oh, the URL again is fatstats p-h-a-t uh, s-t-a-t-s dot we make awesome sh- dot it it's actually, awesome. It's actually a really good name. I wonder who came up with it. Oh. So essentially, essentially, it's a, it's a, the medium hack day uh, recap and also Sid's own startup launch. So <laughs> yeah, um, we, I would like to announce that we've just got seed funding. Um, uh, Martin bought me a beer last night, which yeah. uh, I'm putting into the the pot. So um, yeah, it's a brand new startup launching out of the hack day. You're in four pounds. Um, uh, yeah, four pounds investment. Um, uh, so, I mean, we're well on our way to, like, the seed A round. Yeah, um, And uh, we have also a one-paying customer, um, yeah, but yeah. Uh, that is my mum. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so if you want to also want stats about your YouTube videos, then make sure you go to that URL. Uh, if you remember what that is, I'll make sure that Andrea links has the link. It. Yeah, yeah, I will have the link. That's fantastic. Well, thanks, guys. It's always uh, it's always the, the funnest interview that I do at Medium, so oh, <laughs> it has to be done. <laughs> Thank you very much. But it's always nice to do it, man. It's good to see you. That's great. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of Medium 2014. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends. 